Our next story takes us to Flins Lake, Tennessee, where a cave diver has gone missing. The missing diver became separated from his friends after losing the guideline they followed during a dive the previous day. This search and rescue was captured on a helicopter cam, a cell phone cam, and an underwater helmet cam. The man we see descending into the earth is Ed Sorensen, a world-renowned cave diver known for his rescues of lost or trapped divers. Ed follows the yellow navigational line that guides the divers through the dark, narrow spaces that make up the underwater cave. He explores every possible space within the 400-foot cave system looking for the trapped diver. The diver's friends have made several attempts to find him, and Ed Sorensen is their last hope. After searching for over an hour, Ed notices a shimmer on the water's surface, indicating an air pocket. Hey, Helen. Ed Sorensen. Yeah, how are you feeling for the warmth and everything? Okay. Let's get out of here and go have something to eat. And the only problem is, when we get on my line, be real careful not to knock that off or we're in big trouble. In order to exit safely, the two men now need to follow the white guideline that Ed put in place as he searched the cave. Outside of the cave, local authorities and the lost diver's friends are anxiously waiting for Ed to return. When all hope seemed lost, this hero was able to literally find the light at the end of the tunnel, or the end of the cave in this case. Joining me now, that hero, Ed Sorensen. Thank you for joining us. So let's start at the beginning. Tell me about the call you got that day. It was about 2.30 in the morning when the call came in that Josh was missing in the cave. And I think they did uh, eight dives over 11 hours and couldn't find him. And would I be willing to come? and look for him. Now, you're very experienced in these rescues. When you get the call that 11 hours has passed, what's your reaction? I was pretty much assured that I was going to do a body recovery. So you get into the water. Now, take us through your search until you found him. A couple of the divers that were looking for him said the first part of the line we think is intact. But when you get in a ways, uh, we may have broken the line. And now I'm exploring a cave I've never been in in very, very little visibility. So I just kind of hugged one wall, and then I saw this old line in a tangled up mess. So I searched up in the ceiling, because usually a body will float uh, when they're out of gas. And then I see the shimmering of what looks to be an air pocket. I head up in there, and then you can see from the video, I'm looking right at them, and he's looking right at me. So what's that moment like when you come up and you see him actually alive? Well, I don't know who was more surprised. I think it was more me than him. I never get emotional on these things, but that was that was an incredible moment. Ed, it's just remarkable to watch you pull this man out safely. Really appreciate you coming on here and sharing your incredible story. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being a fan of Rescue Cam. Subscribe to a &E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.